This dude sounds like a plant. Here we're gonna we're gonna welcome to the stream someone who's never been on the show before. I wanna I wanna welcome him. How's it going, man? Undead Chronic. Welcome oh, to the show, shit. buddy. What's good? Yo, hail Jack Murphy, first of the limited order, but last in his wife. R.I.P. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Murphy, second of his name because he sold it. You don't. You might not know this. That's not his name. His name is John Goldman. Oh no! I, I oh, definitely. Not even oh, I, was, I was talking to Drex. Sorry, Drex may not know this. Uh, so John Goldman. His Jack Murphy is his grandfather's name. Mm. Who uses their grandfather? He name? takes his grandfather's name to become a ter- to write an, to write an article cuck about article. cucking. Mm. God, that's, that's dude. Funny. That was the saddest part of the story for me. Like you took a man's name and you Ugh. put it to cuck. Presumably a dead man too. Yeah. Can you imagine yeah. your grandson, not even your son, your grandson, your grandson taking your name to be a cuckold? If if he wasn't dead, he is dead now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, he's like that, him really him. he's like chilling in the the hot tub in in hell, talking to Satan. He's like, you know what? Um, this is where I belong, Satan. You know, my, my, my grandson is actually a cuckold. My grandson, big beard, big bad beard, one thousand. Oh, oh, damn. oh, oh. So here we well, go. So, so what do you think about the pansexuality, man? Chronic, what do you think about that? When these dudes who are fake alphas do this whole like, oh, I'm just, in, I'm just into whatever, brother. I mean, look, if Jack Murphy, if John Goldman was open about how pansexual, how bisexual, how, as he says, heteroflexible he is. He would not be able to steal and abuse because who who signs up for this liminal order? It's young men who have weak father figures. He is stealing from young, weak men that don't have father figures. That's the worst part about me. It's like, you know, we all roast these incels. We roast these weak men. They don't have strong fathers. And so they go on the internet, they go on YouTube, they see Tim Cast, they see Cuck Cast IRL, and they see Cuck Murphy telling them to join the liminal order. It's 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 pathetic, man. They have mommy issues, but also to answer your question um, of who joins this, we can find out on this page right here. He uh, lists off a few different skill sets and occupational people that joined the Ligma order. Uh, yeah. No, yeah, there I, I just want to point out real quick, these are the membership tiers. So when we were saying the 99 a month, that's if you join monthly. Look, you can get down as low as 65 a month if you pay by the year. Ooh. And then of course your your one time membership of four Ooh. grand Dude. uh can get you in forever. Uh um, yeah, it's not the worst one though. Kevin Samuels had a guy pay him 10 grand for like oh. these very short intervals of interaction. Oh man. It's in the video I made about it, if you want to. Now, uh, Rakeda, uh, I got a question for you. Yeah, what's um, up, buddy? Do you think you have to pay for the monthly fee or the yearly fee to get at least two and a half creams inside of Jack Murphy's wife a year? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I just wondering. No, man. That, see, that's, that's the trick. If that's why the annual fee is discounted, because if you pay oh. the annual fee, you get a one, you get a one shot. But if oh, you pay the monthly, one. you get once a month shot. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I feel that. Don't do that. Uh, I'm trying to get that. Look at how long this. I was just about to say that. Like, wait, wait a minute. So all of this is just to get you in this liminal order, right? Mm. Yes. Well, it, I mean, uh, we, we call it the seminal society. order, the seminal fluid order, to be shit. precise. A red pill pickup culture. No, is it a red pill pickup culture? Oh. I.e., so a red pill this, pickup wait, culture. Hold on. Di- now, red pill means you disrespect women, dude. Come on. I mean, look. Go on, uh, as, go on, of, as of this writing, I'm getting married in a few short months. I wouldn't build a culture that disrespects women because that would create a terrible future for my family. <laughs> so what the f- what is this? Uh, oh man. Yeah, you know, um, I remember from the the video, the interview I got when Jack Murphy had his wife come back from he literally said when when she got back from Matt's house, he would pee on her face in their neighborhood. Now Drex, imagine this. You're 16 years old. You finally got your first girlfriend, your second girlfriend. She wants to come to your house. You're sneaking her into the back window, (laughs) bottom floor. 
<laughs> and as you're stinking her in from her Chevy 1997 Lumina, you know, she's, she's here, she's on the street, she's getting in. You, you look over to your side and you see your neighbor, who's a journalist, Jack Murphy, peeing on his wife's face. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're scarred for life, man. Like, you, you're, like, like I would say that's an apex like, alpha. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I mean, like imagine if I, he, he's peeing on her face, and you're trying to get you're trying to get some puniti, and you're like, ignore that Jewish journalist, um, DC Democrat deplorable. No, no, no. Whatever. You got to do that. You got to you got to get out of your Chevy Lumina, and you got to pee right on your girlfriend's <laughs> face, dude, because uh. you learned from the man. <laughs> it's like you got to pee longer than he does. Is yeah. it <laughs> you're, 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 I'm you're, gonna you're, alpha you, bro. You got to oh, eyes. It's, it's quick. just <laughs> I, I drank more water before you, bro. I got you. <laughs> Uh, we have another member of the Seminole Order, uh, the Fed Post Senator. Uh oh. The Fed, the Fed Post Senator has said, uh, by way of apology, I've checked the other ones and I don't think I made a similar mistake, but I wouldn't blame you if you don't trust me with putting anything on screen again. <laughs> Maybe just play the audio. <laughs> Hope I can still join the Seminole Order. You can. <laughs> But I'll never forgive you for me seeing Jack Murphy's penis. Dude, when I, I, I can't, want to see Jack I can't man. Penis. That that was too much. That yeah, was too much. It was unfortunate. I, I had at least three different people DM me because you know, um, I was having a live stream with three hundred people. Nobody, the UCW show, nobody. When I got informed that Jack was going on the You Are Here podcast, and I was like fuck it let's raid this shit because i knew he was a cuck since october since september and um you know i had this whole thing go down and I, you know after this all went down we, we confirmed he was a cuck i had drex i had 21 studios i had all my, I, I had five people notify me and i was like oh what's going on i every single one was a jack murphy nude it was the worst day of my life Rakeda. it was the worst day every single time i was like here's a hairy like I want to say silverback, let's say um copperback gorilla <laughs> jumping on a dildo. I was like, oh, you can't you know, see it. I you regret my it. YouTube career. I regret all of it. <laughs> I gotta delete this shit. I got a very quick story. Uh, my my mm -hmm. wife and I we went we went to this uh, uh the Dick Show right yep. uh, Dick Masterson. No, this is a different one. Oh, we oh. went to it. It, it was I it was 2019 or uh, maybe 2018. Either way. It was in Atlanta. Mm. Went to the Dick Show live in Atlanta, and uh, we went to breakfast. Some of the some of the other fans of Dick were fans of mine, and they're like, "Hey, we want to take you to you and Lady Raggets to breakfast. We know this really good place. We went. It was really good, but we had to wait outside in Atlanta in the summer for like a fucking hour. Oh. What, what, what was it? July, June? What was it? Uh, it was it was at least May. You know, uh, they, call it, they call it hot yeah. Atlanta for a reason, man. Do you have yeah. allergies? Uh, I, I do. I'm literally allergic oh, no. to heat. So, but, uh, <laughs> so we're, we're sitting outside. The sun is pounding down and we're waiting like an hour for this food. Mm. And uh, and we're sitting next to this guy. Right. And he looks like Jack Murphy, basically. Oh, no. uh, and he's he's a tattoo artist. And uh, and so Lady Raggett has a couple tattoos. So she's talking to him about tattoos and stuff like that. And she's like, oh, you know, what kind of stuff do you do? And he does like these real life faces. So he's covered because he's his own canvas. He's how he practiced mm -hmm. doing tattoo work or how his apprentices would practice. They would tattoo him, which is like, mm -hmm. well, oh like man, what the like, hell? They're like jumming into a pool of razor blades. But right. That's bad. That's fine. bad. Okay. So, uh, but you know, they were actually pretty good work. And so he does true to life uh, portraits and stuff. And so he's like, yeah, follow me on Instagram for my, you know, for my work. And Lady Raggeds doesn't have an Instagram. So she's like, can you follow him so we can, you know, check up on him? That way, if we're ever back in the area, maybe we could do, maybe I could get a tattoo from him or whatever. Mm. So I follow him. Uh -oh. I start noticing a trend. Oh, no. Uh -oh. He's, this man is a bear. Oh. So oh no. He's, 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 uh, he's very gay, right? Yeah. And he's yeah. big. He's a big guy. He's, he's hairy. And so when I saw the Jack picks, that's all I could think of. Oh. I'm like, this looks like exactly like the exact same guy. It was so funny because <laughs> it's like this big, hairy man. I was like, did they Photoshop this onto the tattoo? I don't see any tattoos. It's just hair, hair and hair and bulk. Everywhere. Well, you know what I like? I like that when the pictures first came out, everybody immediately tried to do the whole like, is this photoshopped? Right? Like everyone's 
it's gotta be photoshop i'm like dude they're coping yeah, yeah. yeah it was cope please please no it wasn't cope. it was them begging please but, be yeah, 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 please, yeah please be photoshop like, don't, don't <laughs> let this be real like once you get pegged so mm. so chronic i've always yeah. said this yeah okay once you do weird <laughs> hetero flexible acts yes you're done in the eyes of women women and men like they like, do like that shit's not cool. Like, here's the thing. If you are a gay dude, you here's the thing that you actually get respect, right? Like a guy's like, okay, you're gay. So what? Yeah, it's yeah. when you're doing this. Just be gay. Just be gay. It's the well, it's the I mean, down low closet shit. I mean, I, I feel embarrassed to share this information, but there uh, is a difference. It, there is a how, uh, how many how many dudes have menu. you taken? <laughs> anally it's called well, power well, bottom for a reason it's the uh, alpha position you talk to a, a female there's a difference between i'm a gay guy i'm a bi guy because it really comes to the difference of bi dudes if you are a bisexual man but you're the top you are penetrating women see you one way but if you are the bottom if you are being penetrated women in general, what the majority of women will disrespect you. Yep. I'm not speaking from experience. I'm speaking from the you know Reddit because that's where most bi guys post their relationship problems. Um, women don't respect guys that take it in the booty hole. No, if your external anal sphincter is penetrated, if it is stretched, women don't like that. They don't vibe with that. I can't explain it. It's probably have to do with the dominant structure. But it is what it is. And Jack Murphy, as he jumps on the silicone form structures. And here's the thing. I wrote to Jack Murphy months ago. The fact that, you know, I had people, I had my subs tell me, you know, the, the fact that this dude is being exposed on such a level. Chronic, are you a Nostradamus? Like, did you, like, you edit the Matrix? Did you, like, you know, this is too easy. It, it, I, I can't explain it, man. The, it, you know, it, when I really got into Jack Murphy, I say into not like the you know, so, um, it was he was on Timcast, he was talking to thousands, hundreds of thousands of people. Just, and just his thing was, I'm a man, I'm a masculine man. Look at my beard, I'm gonna put my hands, my arms together like a bitch does when she wants her tits to look big. I, I lift weights, I lift a hundred pounds, but Rakeda, pull your mic back a little bit. Yeah, I got uh, you. chronic chronic's echoing. I don't I don't know oh, why. I don't know. If, I'll, I'll yeah. turn down. I'll turn we, down. It, we don't hear it. Yeah, I don't. I hear it. Me. You hear it? Yeah, oh, really? a little bit. Yeah. I wonder if it's coming through our mic. Oh, it was my I thought mic it was someone else. I'm like, damn. I thought my uh, mic was. I thought my mic was set up was good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, chronic. Guess what? Yes. Uh, Brittany did not know about the ultimate grifter and fraud, Derek Jackson. Oh, oh, like these oh, dudes. That's good. That, that gives me a higher opinion of Britney. I, I rated, I, I sent my boys after Britney's a uh, live stream just to <laughs> give, give her some, some spice, you know, some uh, paprika on her taco meat. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, so, I'm okay. So chat, worry. chat thing echoes gone. So it must've oh. been, yeah, I'm about to, I'm about to order another mic like this mm. for your side because uh, it, which one's on the top? It's directional. What? Which microphone is going to be on top? This one. Damn. Because this is a directional mic. You speak into the penis, not across the penis. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you're speaking across the penis because that's oh. how that one works. Oh. But it picks up a lot of it picks up a lot more ambient sound. It's pretty good, but uh, I'm I'm going to get another one like this. Uh, mm -hmm. That's wild. So uh, yeah, sorry well, about Brittany, that. Guys. I was going to ask but, you uh, how many how many women have you known have had dudes who and I've always said this. Women know if a dude is on the down low. Would you agree with that, uh, Brittany? Uh, yeah, because in my personal experience, when I dealt with it, I, I asked him several times, like, are you uh -oh. gay? Are you bi? Are you bi? And he <laughs> said no every time. And then he Denied got outed it. by his friend yep. together. And then later on came the, like, frilly collar cat ear stuff. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, I would oh, say no. women have pretty good gaydar, actually. Wait. So like uh, you you're hanging out with a guy and then suddenly he puts on cat ears and is gay. Are you Nick Fuentes? <laughs> no, he no he, no. A lot of guys on the right, I, I think, are low key like that. But um, yeah, he we were being intimate on my birthday, oh. and then 
afterwards, she decided on my birthday, the perfect <laughs> birthday gift. What what would a girl love more than to be told your boyfriend wants to wear cat ears and a frilly collar, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, you're That's right. weird. <laughs> what a birthday gift. That's weird. Uh, we've got another member of the Seminal Order. Kick Jack Smurphy says, reminder of who Venti is. Mm. Drex, she thinks your ideology is all lies, fraud, BS, and MGTOW needs to man up because they ain't shit. She's mm. all nine yards of I'm totally not a feminist because I don't like abortion and loves law of attraction and astrology. Otherwise, pleasant. Mm. Uh, all women hate uh, true guys who go their own way right because that means they can't get resources which is attention time money all that right dick yeah uh that being said <laughs> the, the, that being said there's levels to it right like yeah when when a woman tells me i'm not a feminist what does that mean nick that she's, she, she's a feminist she's a feminist she's a feminist like, I mean, so yeah. at, at the end of the day here's the thing i'm over at, at, at my best man's house having fun if somebody is whatever, like I said, I don't even. A lot of times, Nick, you have to explain to me who someone is. Like who? <laughs> yeah, you know, like like because yep. like, I don't live yep. in the internet world. Like so, Carl, like I was telling this to uh, to the guys in my own uh, Discord, right? I said, mm -hmm. when you live in the real world, not the internet world, right? You don't know internet personality or something. So, oh, what the hell was that? The fuck was that? What the fuck was that? The, I'm trying to open this damn podcast I downloaded. That's all right. It's a right. weird go thing. On. I've got it now. Go on, Drax. Go on, Drax. No, I, I was just gonna say that. Like a lot of the reasons why a lot of people were were questioning things about me and saying like you know things I said was a lie because I was like, everything I say is from the real world right like no check your girl's phone if you have a girl check her phone if like I said when a, when a chick says I'm a traditional conservative oh. like Tommy <laughs> Lauren I called out Tommy Lauren and, and you know oh, Sydney, Tommy Lauren uh, oh my uh, God. Lauren Chin uh, oh, there's, there's oh. a lot of these chick they. They've already been ran through feminists, right? Then yep. they just yep. making their those, way into those two bitches ruined the name Lauren. Go on. They did. They did. Well, but here's the thing though. What I tell people, I said, look, man, I'm coming from the real world experience. Like, so mm -hmm. I'm not one of those dudes who I was never a fat dude who didn't oh. get laid and all that stuff. Oh. So you think you're not fat now? Yeah. <laughs> oh. We've so, only we've only got the camera on your upper torso. Don't yeah, right? don't pretend like you're not a fat ass. <laughs> you, got, you got 300 pounds of adipose yeah, under yeah, your yeah, yeah, pear shaped belt I'm bottom. A, <laughs> <laughs> well, so it was funny because when you tell guys the truth, guys were getting mad at me, like, no, you're making all this up. And then when people start realizing the truth, they're like, Oh, I guess you're not. It's because they were in the internet world, Nick. Like in the internet world, Amaranth is a cool girl, right? She she likes me for me. Oh, oh, now I can hear the echo. Now, now, undead, now, now I hear you echoing. Well, can that's not back? on our end. That's on that, his end. Okay. Okay. I mean, you, uh, I'll mute my mic unless I'm talking. If you guys oh, cool. uh, like yeah, that. Yeah. Cool. No, I'm, I'm, yeah I'm, 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 you have a video. I have now, been right? muting it. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying so hard to keep the audio quality up. Oh, yeah. Headphones works. Uh, I think Nick found you got the video downloaded now, right? I got well, it's, it's audio. I do. Oh, audio. Are, are we ready? I don't want to see any more fucking video of Jack Murphy ever. Oh, I've got more. I've got well, more video. I was gonna send you his recent video, his the best Jack Murphy pornography compilation. You don't want to see that, Drex. You don't want to. Was he smashing dudes, that? man, or trannies? <laughs> I know he was. I don't know if they ever actually do that on Chatterbait. On the Chatterbait. He talks about it a lot. Wait, uh, Chronic, you saw that video that uh, earlier tonight Nick showed where he's talking about uh, little boy, little boy booty holes. Yeah. Well, here's the question I have, um, Rakeda. Yeah. Why would Jack? I don't understand this. Like, you know, I understand Jack Murphy talking shit against me or the quartering. Why would he think that talking shit against you, especially, you know, it's not sub count doesn't mean as much as people think on YouTube. It's the okay. recent engagement. And after the um, written uh, alpha Chad, the written house, uh, <laughs> you know, the whole thing, you blew up and. This, you know your sub count is x the amount of people getting uh showed your videos x plus 10 why would jack murphy think that threatening you on twitter would be a beneficial thing right so like, I, I, I don't I, explain that I, to me I, I don't know because um the the one way uh if if you follow anything i do you learn very quickly that the mm. one way to get me to not do something mm. is to tell me to do it oh right like I, I don't, I've never responded well to, to authority or apparent authority. Mm. I don't, 
it's why I work for myself. It's why I went to law school and, and started my own firm. I didn't work for somebody else. Uh, it's, it's why I, uh, yeah. I started a YouTube channel so I could work for myself. Mm -hmm. It's, um, <laughs> I've always been bad at listening to other people. So the moment he did that, I'm like, Oh, fuck you. I'm immediately going to go harder on this. Uh, because that's, that's just who I am. I'm an asshole. And if you tell me not to be one, I'm going to be, I'm going to be a bigger one, but I mean, that's I would, fine. Cause I would say you are a, a self-respecting man. Yeah, honestly, like if, if some random, like what 40 K sub YouTuber told you to check yourself because the mutuals man, like yeah. you're a lawyer, you have a career outside of YouTube. That's the, the big thing I have against a manosphere grift. Like the typical, I'm an alpha Chad, you know, I'm sub to me, pay my program. I'll teach you how to get women is they have no job outside of YouTube. So when the, the, the yeah, weird, the, the thing for me is the whole mutual mm -hmm. argument. It's like, wait, yep. so I'm, you're asking me to modify my opinions based on who I'm supposed to be aligned with Yep. that. And, and in the same breath, uh, it, I, I showed the entire DM thread the other day in the mm -hmm. same breath. He's talking to me about what integrity is. And I'm like, bro, <laughs> in, integrity is not changing my position because I think someone might not like it. Yep. Uh, I, I always have been and always will be me. And, and many times probably to my detriment. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sure I could, I could put on the mask of the grift, right. And walk the Jack Murphy line and, talk about all the cool right-wing conspiracies, but sometimes I have takes that people don't like, but yeah. I find that for me, it works better because I enjoy making videos as yep. long as I'm telling the truth. And, uh, and I find that people will actually be pretty forgiving, even if they disagree with your opinion, as mm -hmm. long as they believe it. I've yeah. seen that too. Yeah. I think he's that way because of his, um, seminal order. Like it's all about like connection. So he's like, expecting you to kind of conform to that like oh you know it's a brotherhood type of thing right the the one thing that jack failed to calculate was that i'd literally never heard of him mm. outside of the 30 seconds i saw from him on tim pool mm. so i went back and checked my initial tweet and it was it was literally hey jack i like what you said on tim pool. Or it, it was something along the lines of i shouldn't say literally i like what you said on tim pool I'd love to have you on the show sometime to talk about this topic or any other. Let me know. That was it. And when he responded to me months later, he's like, you invited me on the show because I'm doing good work. And I was like, weird. Did I, did I say something like that? Cause that seems dishonest. Cause I don't, I have no familiarity. Mm -hmm. So I went mm -hmm. back and looked, I'm like, I never mentioned those words. He literally said, you invited me on cause I'm doing good work because he thinks he's doing yeah. quote good work. Yeah. Yeah. He, he imposed that Dude, upon he, me. He, a lot, of, a lot of what this guy is doing is projection. Because yeah. uh, I'm sure you, you know, the chat, Brittany, Chronic, you guys notice he talks about the whole, you know, respecting women, disrespecting women, right? <laughs> here's here's yeah. the funny thing. I've always said this, Nick, and I, I've been adamant about it. My biggest defenders are all women. My biggest detractors are all males. You see what I'm saying? Right. So when it comes to like, you know, do, do we respect women? I'm like, dude. First of all. If something is consensual, by definition, it's you know respect, quote unquote, right? But like the it, the types of relationships that Jack Murphy has, mm -hmm. if you were to ask most women, is this respectful? They would say yep. no, right? Mm -hmm. You're you're having ra randos. She could get AIDS, right? I, Your girl I, could, get, could get could catch STD from a rando from Craigslist, bro. I cannot mm -hmm. fathom. Like, look, I've been married like in seventeen and a half years. Yep, I cannot Woo! imagine ever going. You know what? Let's Matt pick a Tinder. random person, random dude, for you to go have sex with. Yep, like that—that oh. that is beyond the, oh. the the idea here. It, well, do you know, what, you know what doesn't get talked about in all this? Hmm. The effect it has on kids, right? Because yep. let's just say, for the sake of argument, somehow your kids find out something. And look, and I, I do feel bad for his kids though, right now, because oh yeah, dude, like, like just like with these OnlyFans models who oh. you know, wind up getting exposed. It's not fair to the kids because like, they didn't choose that, right? Like, I mean. Yep. You want to get teased at yeah. school because your dad is a cuck or your mom is a thought. You're fucked. I mean, I think it should be considered child abuse in some cases. And also, some guys really be out here letting Matt from Tinder fuck their girl before they're willing to give a little foreplay. Like, that's oh, no. actually where oh. it's at. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, imagine being an 18 year old high school. His son is in high school. 
Ooh, that's right. Yeah. Imagine yeah. being in high school and right now at this moment, 2021, the new year, the all of Twitter sphere were, you know, the, the more right wing egalitarian Twitter sphere is talking about how your dad is a cuck. Here are pictures of him jumping on a silicone phallus shaped object. Uh, how do you feel about it? Rakeda, yeah. man, Yesterday, how would you I feel mean, if your dad was being caught out for being a cuckold when you're senior of high school, man? That, that's horrible. It, well, the, the interesting thing is you'd feel bad for your dad, but you'd feel worse for yourself, right? Because because <laughs> you're going to get made, you're going to get ruthlessly treated uh, in, in high school and, and there's no recovery. W what are you going to say? No, he's not like, but bro, here's the video. Like they're just gonna pull up the video of of your stepmom licking your dad's ass. Uh, like, yeah, you know that, that's look. If people want to do OnlyFans, if people want to do Pornhub, whatever they want to do, I don't care. Never ever have kids. Mm -hmm. If you have kids, never do it. And if you do it, never have kids because because fuck you for what they have to go through yep. after that. Yep. That yeah. to me that that is that is beyond. That is and that's that's why, beyond. That's why they want to destigmatize it because they think that's the solution. Oh, if we just pretend it's not something um harmful or degenerate, then you know it'll be fine. But no, some things need to stay stigmatized so it de it doesn't incentivize people to continue to do that. And by removing right. stigma, you're going to incentivize this more. Well, it's, it's that meme, right? Where the, the kid's getting his ass kicked by the bigger kid. And it says, uh, the caption says, tell your mom to post mo more anal vids on only oh. <laughs> Right? Like, that's that's the reality of 2021 if you're not careful. Like, Dude, I feel sorry for this next generation of kids because I know Chronic and Ribby have talked about this where they said, no matter how bad you think it is right now, right? There's a bunch of guys saying, oh, you know, it, it's pretty bad right now. 10 years, five to 10 years from, from right now, right? Right. After all these sites, you know, sugar daddy hookup sites, all this, the hookup culture is about to implode, right? It's about to completely collapse, right? It's on the verge. It, look, Chronic does videos regularly along with Ribby about these used up 304s, right? Like they're like, oh shit, I've hit the wall. Uh, I go on. There is no marriage at the end of the tunnel anymore, right? Before, what ended up happening, Nick, you were able to hide a lot of this, right? There was no social media, there was no TikTok. There was no, you know, dating apps. Now you can't really hide. Like, like back in the day, a guy goes, "Oh, she's a she's a good girl, chronic. She she had, you know, she's twice divorced. The guys were the problem. She's a good girl. Now dudes know better. They're like, oh no 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 no. And that's that's why you're seeing dudes like this. We don't. I, mean, I don't do labels, bro. I don't do labels. Yep. I remember, Rakita, My you know, um, you know, the war band thing is, I convince a lot of my fans to make youtube channels and to come up with these goofy cartoon avatars but ribby the party frog and a lot of other MGTOW, red pill manosphere content creators have found that creating shorts exposing the women who are sexually promiscuous they are getting millions of views a month yep. because there's like there's something to it that the male um the male ego, the male psyche um, connects with the idea that women who are sexually promiscuous do not deserve a marriage, do not deserve a lifetime of commitment to physical resources. So when you take that, the you know, you take the fact that the majority of men, these younger men, these high school guys, these dudes watching YouTube agree with the fact that these dudes who are cucks are failure sexually and they they compare that to these cucks like jack murphy saying i'm masculine male i deserve a hundred dollars a month of your money to teach you how to be a masculine male there's a disconnect there right so that's like the big thing is like jack murphy you know Dr. Dick and Balls or Mr. Dick and Balls no, I think a it's Dr. $10 super chat a, a $10 super chat, the result of a raid from my shitty 300 plus lower than 400 plus live stream has caused the decline, the collapse of a man's financial empire. There's something to be said there, right? It's, it's the grift. It's the, it's the pebble that breaks the window, right? Yes. 
because I mean, you, you got you got this big, beautiful, ornate window, or or this big, even just magnificently clear giant window. It's it's a little rock that breaks it. Yep. If you're if you're built up on on nonsense, on nothing, if you're built up on fragility, you you know, windows are cool, man. When you can look outside and let all the light in in the world, you can see panoramic vistas, but that coolness goes away really fucking quick when you realize how fragile they actually are. Oh, yeah. And and so you 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 throw a ten dollar pebble at it and the whole thing fucking comes tumbling down. What a disaster! Maybe maybe you should have uh, you know but, but you should have built something you, permanent. How, how much of a how much do you think needs to be said about this simple thing? There needs to be investigations into people as they rise up, right? Like Brittany was talking about Kevin Samuels earlier. Some other people, you know, Chronic and I know about Derek Jackson. The moment someone shows up and they start, you know, because you, you notice it's like they're overselling, right? Like yeah. if, if a dude comes on YouTube and he was like this, I'm just saying this, either you like it or you don't, right? You like my country, you don't. That's one thing. But when people start saying, sign up for my course, well, I know uh, Chronic, I think has gone after like Donovan Sharp, some other people. A Ooh. lot of people, when it happens, it's always a game about a course, right? Like buy, mm -hmm. buy this, right? Why am I, why are you asking me to buy something from you? Like, and yeah. Jeremy from the quartering said that he was like, if, if you put out content and people like it, they just like it. They support it. When you yeah. start doing this whole, yo, Brittany, uh, uh, I got a femininity course. This is for the <laughs> ladies out there. Give me money. And it's like, wait a minute. What the fuck is this? Like, yeah, it, it's unnecessary, man. Yeah, no. Yeah. I mean, that's that's the whole thing. The 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 selling, the selling gets it gets weird real quick, and mm. people need to ask questions when some when anybody comes to sell you anything because you would. You would anywhere else. Mm -hmm. You're at an electronics store and they're like, look, you got to buy this computer. You're like, well, why the hell do I have to listen yep. to you? Uh, what do you know about it? And you're like, you're, you're 20 and uh, you look like you use Max. So stop trying to sell me this, uh, this Lenovo or whatever. Mm -hmm. But um, I've, I do have, uh, so it's one, one thing I noticed is getting really late. <laughs> it's already after two. How, dude, I don't know uh, how this time goes by so quick, man. I know we got a ton of chats. And shit. Time flies. When I, you're I just want to say, cock. I just want to say the other side of the problem too is like the OnlyFans stuff. Mm. Um, I think OnlyFans part of the problem uh, yes. with uh, guys supporting that, paying money towards that as well, um, and mm. the women doing it. Uh, they're basically self harming. And, uh, they're uh, queens. <laughs> I actually I created on, an OnlyFans and I posted Ooh. pictures of my cats on it and I framed oh, it as selling pictures of my pussy. Please come on, Brittany. Come on. Come on. Did it work? I made the top 10% on OnlyFans. Oh, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Honestly, good for you. Like, look, I want simps to get milk for every last cent. Oh, I want them to get milked. Oh, Con I mean, it felt good. It felt good that they were like the Coomers were like, "Yes, I get to degrade yes. her and act like she's a product to consume and coom to," and then all they get is give a cat me, photo. Give me the cappuccino tunlatas, the punitis, please. Yeah, these simps are ridiculous. So man. I, I do have uh, Jack's girlfriend segment ready. Oh, oh, oh here we go. Here we go. I am ready. Not okay. sexually, but I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, uh, under yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, hold on, hold on, I have my genitalia <laughs> dipped in an ice bath, kind of like after high school <laughs> football practice to get in the ice bath. You know, put, on, put on the chastity cage. Here we, I'm go. Ready. Here we go. I'm here's, ready. I'm ready. Here's the section. <laughs> cool. Okay. So one of the things that Jack and I talked about specifically was the time he made you masturbate in the in the hall of your building. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. and getting yourself off there. I want to talk about that. Oh, goodness. It is hard for me to listen to you guys chat about it. His voice is so sexy. Uh, yeah. And then to, to hear him reliving all that, I was just like, ooh. You could tell he was really into it, too. Yeah. I love the part where he stops and he's like, yeah, that's, that's really hot. <laughs> so you obviously turn his crank really well. So, uh, Really quick, no, she doesn't. That's That's the thing. So uh, I, I don't know the context of this interview, but you notice the difference, right? Jack's like, yeah, sending her away to other men. When I masturbate, I'm thinking about other men fucking her. And she's the, the, the stark contrast. She's like, it was really uncomfortable listening to you guys talk about that thing. She has moved past yeah. being prostituted out. 
Oh, that's one of the mm. comments that we didn't get to. He has yeah. prostituted her out for money, Ooh, according yeah. to him. Yeah. But he respects me. Oh, uh, 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 uh. actually, let, let me ask. Let me ask this question to Brittany as a woman. Yes. Yes. So, Brittany, Jack Murphy was talking about respecting women. Blah 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 blah. Right? What do you think about a man who says I I pimped my wife out for money? Oh no, it's so disrespectful. He, if my if my boyfriend did that hypothetically, I would feel so undervalued and disrespected like you just want to whore me out like i'm just the object and like you don't feel jealous you don't feel any sort mm. of possession over me like mm. I, I want a guy to feel a little possessive like not an unhealthy amount but just like a little bit you know to yeah. feel like i'm cared for and mm. for him to like oh i'm gonna give you away and sell you for money mm. um you, when when some do like if you were to check out some dude walking by at a restaurant, mm -hmm. right? Like men, men have the reflexive gaze, right? Like a, a, an attractive female yeah, walks by. Yeah. Oh. We're, we're attracted to motion very quickly. Oh, damn. And, that bitch hot as fuck. Right, we might yep. linger a little bit and, and we would expect that, uh, that our significant other would be like, Hey, uh, I, you know, over here. And, and I think, you know, if, if you were to do the same thing, you would want your guy to be like, Hey, what's up? Like what, what the hell is that? Mm -hmm. Just yeah. a little bit. It's a healthy amount of jealousy. Right. It makes you mm -hmm. feel cared for because, because men should be at least somewhat territorial. They should be because he's like, if, if you, okay, if you're in the Jack Murphy situation, mm -hmm. right, you're the oh. opposite. <laughs> you're like, oh no, my girl is community property, right? <laughs> so you're the, the that's park. why Tinder hookups and, and Craigslist dudes like, because I mean, chronic, think of it like this. Yes. Any dude you've ever known, and mm -hmm. I've always told Nick this, guys who are into cuck shit, yes. they always try to hide it. You see what I'm saying? The bull of doesn't course. hide being a bull. A male, a male porn star never goes on, a, on an interview, Nick, and goes, mm -hmm. chronic, <laughs> they exploited me in the industry. It's like, no, no, no. <laughs> Males don't say that, right? Yeah, and yeah, you're right. On, you're saying right. Lana Rhodes and Brie Olsen. I was exploited. No one, <laughs> I mean, I know Brie. You better quit playing. I mean, I heard Brie. a, I heard she a two-hour. She was exploited. Yeah, I, I heard a two-hour interview. You. There was a two-hour interview, and I think it was like an hour and thirty-six minutes. And I can, I can re-look it back up. But they asked um, the Red Hen, Jack Murphy's wife, what she thought about this, and she said at the start. I was not into having sexual relations with other guys, but Jack forced slash convinced me to do it. Right. Yeah. So like it I wasn't coming her on his, uh, for it. And if you read the cuck article, it was his idea. So it wasn't like she wanted to have sex with other men. He thought that had her going off to Matt from Tinder's house was a very sexually um, energetic idea from her. Rakeda, what do you think about that man? Like, what kind of man gets turned on by his woman, his property, his lover, going off with other other men? What what is that? Is this about? a trick question? <laughs> the answer is I mean, no, uh, a fucking cup. Truth, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's like me asking you what's two plus two in the nineties, not twenty twenty one, but the nineties. Yeah, well, the, never ask a lawyer to answer a math question because I'll oh. get it wrong. Oh, but look, I can spot. I can spot cuckoldry from a mile away. That's that's a fucking cuck. And and I think I think uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna oh, start Nick's the audio. The audio. Hold up, here goes I audio. I think we're about to find that out in just a second. Okay, here, here we, we go. go. Here we go. We we got to be quiet though because the audio is kind of low, and I, I've got it maxed out, guys. So that's about as loud as it can get. So here we go. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And it's a fun job. I love it. Mm. Uh, so that night in the hallway was really interesting because we had spontaneously gone out to a bar across the street from my house. And he had me do something that made me super uncomfortable. He wanted me to go flirt with someone at the bar and like hit on them. And he was going to watch. And I I did not want to do it. I just had it so weird. I don't want to, I, I didn't think he would be jealous, but I just genuinely didn't think I could do it. And I wasn't interested. Like, really, I have no desire to sleep with anyone else, to date anyone else. Jack is all I want. And no one had ever done that before. You know, I used to be jealous to sleep with yeah. No, guys, the audio sounds like shit because the audio on this podcast sounds like shit. Yeah. Uh, there's, there's not that sound is cut. That, that's how it sounds on the podcast. <clears throat> 
So, so sorry. That's, that's just how it is. That's, it sounds like shit to us too. So here yeah. we go. I'm going to, I'm going to resume. He literally pushed me out of the booth and said, those two guys go sit next to them, go flirt with them. I'm going to watch. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I did it even though I, I didn't want to, and I had no idea what I was going to do. And I was so nervous, but <laughs> I started and I could feel him watching me and I would steal glances and he was just unashamed, unabashedly staring at me mm -hmm. while I did it. Mm -hmm. And I was able to flirt with these men like nobody's business because I was so turned on because I was doing his bidding. I was doing something right. for him that he told me to do. Exactly. And it's not about the men. It's about Jack. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's about to be about the men when you're gargling their semen Bruh. later. Like, what the fuck are you doing? You know what, man? If I told That's my so wife to go flirt with other men, she should leave me immediately. Yeah, because mm. if I agree. It's so frustrating to hear because, like, she's saying, all I saw was Jack. I, and she's basically expressing she wanted to just be dedicated to one man and express her love and devotion to one man. I can't imagine how infuriating it must be for like single men to hear that, but it's also infuriating for me to hear it. Like, cause I'm the same way. So like if somebody didn't went and spit in my face with that and they're like, Oh, well just go fuck other guys. After I show you my love and dedication to like not even acknowledge the existence of other men. It's like, that's just such a fuck you to loyalty. <laughs> It's, uh, but she did agree to it. And this is my issue with like me too, right? So Jack's wife is saying all this stuff, right? I felt this. I was forced. And, but you you could have left at any time, right? If you're a girl, she should have. She could have at any time. She could have gone like this. You know what, Jack? This is not for me. Bounce. Yep. Right? Because yeah. this, is, this is basically a shit test. We always tell guys when a mm -hmm. woman, if your girl ever comes to you asking for an open relationship, the relationship yep. is over right there. Leave. Yep. Right? So when yeah, Jack is coming up to her and she didn't feel that she was comfortable with this, she just left. Like, oh no, we're done. Or she just should have said, "No, this is a this is a hard limit for me." Yep. And then if it doesn't work out after that, you leave. If it does, okay, you know what? I I thought I might be into it, but if you're not into it, you know that's cool. I respect you. Like, you can you can try and push boundaries a little bit, mm -hmm. but at the the moment they're not comfortable, you have two <coughs> options. You either say, "Okay, that's fine," or mm -hmm. you leave. Yep. It's yep. Simple. Um, well, I mean, like, um, maybe she wanted more of those shekels, more of those free rent, more of that free money. No, no he's know, broke the, at this point in his life. That's or, the crazy or, thing. At, at this point, you know, here, okay, let me change the subject completely. Jack Murphy said, you know, one of his uh, private chats, he said he was forced to do, um, I'm going to apologize to the chat. He was uh, forced to do that gay um dildo Check. involved uh homosexual chatterbait porn because he could not get a job now uh, drex let me ask you it's 2018 mm -hmm. you are a trained journalist a trained online media journalist during the trump bubble the only way you can make money is by putting um carbon-based silicone phallic shaped objects up your external anal <laughs> finger bro this is the boom for journalists and he said he made he, he could not make money to support his family he had to shove objects up his <laughs> um alimentary canal bro this is, this a, is uh, feminine. what what <laughs> when when resources get uh dry nick women resort to prostitution not men you see what i'm saying that's, that's not true. a male trait Yep. When shit hits the fan, look at you know uh, Venezuela, Greece, all any country that the economy collapses, the women overnight become prostitutes, right? Overnight. Right. And when when things collapse for men, they tend to go the thug route. Like I'm just gonna go take shit. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So dominance instinct. The Oonga fact that Jack. Oonga. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dudes will just go. Like, I mean, it's gonna be like Walking Dead with Negan and the Saviors. The fact that Jack, his initial thought was, I can't make money. Let me go get this. Wait, hold on. So you had a dildo just in your house waiting for you. Because, I mean, you had no money. How'd you have dildo money? <laughs> you, had, you had cam and dildo money. You see what I'm saying? So so he had to already have that. You see what I'm saying? Nick, no one talks about that. You had to already have a cam and a dildo set up. Probably fucking machines, rabbits. Oh, man. I'm looking for oh, man. Uh, 
I'm looking for Jack. So it's important to note the Jack couldn't get a job. Let's find his qualifications because he lists them. He lists them in this article. Uh, it must be up here. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. No fucking hell. Well, let me Wait. ask. Uh, let me ask a question here. Uh, Brittany, would you ever consider a serious relationship with a man who did um, online pornography no. with dildos and? <laughs> Let me just stop you there. No. Uh, no. Yeah, that was a quick no. You know, the faster you interrupt me, the more respect I have for you. That's the truth. <laughs> well, well, the thing is, though, is that look, you we should just see more and more articles, right? Like put boys in dresses. Hey guys, here's the reason why you should have uh relations with other men. Hey guys, this is the reason why pegging is cool. Get your girlfriend to peg you today. They push all this. And there are, you know, woke women out there who try to push this also and like the, the lame soy boys, right? But then when you start talking to women, Nick, they always go back to the dude who exhibits masculine traits, right? As yeah. in not getting bent over or on his back. This dude was on his back, man, with his legs up. So here, I uh, my, uh, my mild inebriation made it harder for me to find this. But here we go. Here are the basic credentials of Jack Murphy. Remember. Right, here it is. Remember, when Jack was doing Chatterbait in 2019, Jack was so broke that he had to. He had to put a dildo on his ass <laughs> so that he could earn oh. some money on Chatterbait. Oh. Here's, here's this man's qualifications. He's got a bachelor's degree in economics from George Mason. He's Useless. got a master's degree in international finance and affairs from Georgetown School of Foreign Service. Useless. 2021 Lincoln Fellow at the Claremont Institute. Hedge Useless. fund analyst. Useless. Real estate developer. Useless CEO, CFO, COO of what? You got the M useless, there. Useless is executive director of nonprofits, charter school turnaround expert, author, father of three, engaged to be married, youth sports coach, expert at developing young professional talent, two times amateur Muay Thai kickboxing <laughs> champion. This man what? has listed out all of these qualifications. Oh. All you can get was a dildo, though, right? What did we find oh. out? Now all of that, all of that qualification, chat. all of that talent, mm -hmm. all of mm. all of that, and the only way, he, only way, <laughs> this man could find to make money. Well, every 2018, by the way, the economy is fucking great. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Everybody's making money. This yes. guy, the only way he could do it is shoving dildos in his ass on camera, and then having having his mm. uh, fiance lick mm. his dirty taco oh, what the oh. fuck is happening now, Dude, now the way the i in. roasted him on my show is the same way i roast only fan girls yes you can make some money through showing your genitalia online but it shows your laziness compared to the work right like uh, in, in my college years, in my undergraduate years, I wanted money for beer. I wanted money to impress females. I worked the jackhammer. I was, pa 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 pa. My forearms were destroyed, but I was willing to do that instead of uh, having sexual relations with randoms online. It, it kind of uh, showcases your respect for yourself. You know, there's a scale. Right. Only fan women. Whenever I see an only fan girls or a prostitute or a sex worker say, this is the only way I could survive. I just think if you got a job at Burger King and McDonald's, you would have a much better uh, respect to wage ratio. But they don't take it. They don't want to work as hard, which is okay. You are sacrificing an hourly wage for society societal respect. You know what I mean? Yes, but there's an element you're missing there is the mental illness aspect. In order for somebody to go and prostitute themselves, they have to be mentally ill to some extent or have some sort of trauma that would make them think that that's a good option to do if they had other options. A lot of the yeah, time they I mean, come from broken homes. I mean, I guess it's, a, I mean, as with biology, I guess it's a normal distribution is a spectrum. Some people have zero, um, they have zero uh, tolerance for sexual degradation, but others are willing to sacrifice everything for a couple more dollars. Hey, like, hey, chronic. Can you uh can you reconnect? 
I, I don't no, know why, I, but, I, but, I, I, yeah, I'll do that. I'm disconnecting my mic. I'm muting my mic every time, but I'll disconnect. I'll come back. Yeah, it's when you're talking. I don't I don't know what the hell's up. StreamYard's been fucking up with audio oh, issues lately. Like, they, they're just racist <laughs> against green skins. I'll come <laughs> back. I'll come back. All right. But yeah, there's a lot of um, broken households when it comes to people who prostitute themselves. Like, and you see it with these uh, people that turn 18. It, do you think it's normal for someone the second they turn 18 to be like, huh, you know what I should do? I should sell my pussy on the internet. No, it's because they're groomed into it. And that's like manipulation. It's coercion, right? Um, so there's these factors that we have to also think about when we ask, why would somebody choose to do that instead of working and becoming a, uh, Mick wage cock or whatever. <laughs> that was, that was weird. So there's still an echo. Mm. I, I wonder what the fuck is causing the echo. Cause I have your tab muted. So it shouldn't be that. Uh, Echo when Brittany's talking. Um, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, maybe I'll just, uh, we'll just do this here. Let me welcome, welcome back under chronic. Mm. It's uh, the look, the it's uh, guys. I can see my, my mic inputs. It's it. We're not picking it up. I think it's something on the other Stream end of it. That, son, that shouldn't be happening. No, no, that's all right. right. Maybe reduce the volume of your computer. Until your uh, mic can't pick it up, that's what the I mics say. aren't the mics aren't picking it up. I checked. Yeah. Well, what I'll say to Brittany is, um, I I do agree in a sense. It's the cultural aspect of being raised in a sense. Um, when men or women get raised in a single mother household, they get raised. You know, there is a genetic influence on a child's genes. When they are raised without a father, that you know it um, biases them to expressing a gene level to um, become more. How should I say? Um, what is it? Our our type selection, right? So, like, it's proven. There's a scientific paper. When a daughter is raised without a father in the household, she undergoes menstruous her first period a year and a half earlier that's because if there's no father around there's no um a uh how should i say biochemical signal to the uh sensory what well, i'm saying nasal it's a you know you're smelling every day if you're not smelling a male around that's biologically uh related to you you will as a female induce menstruous early now uh, 10,000 like years ago go on go on all i gotta say is whoever did that study needs to be put on a fucking wall and shot <laughs> <laughs> well, no, well, i'm saying like, you could say that but 10,000 years ago if a female human had no fathers around she would undergo sexual maturity earlier because if there's no men in your tribe around wow you are deficient in calories, deficient in prey, mammoths, whatever it is. You need to reproduce as fast as possible. You need more men to bring calories to the tribe, the village, right? It's not, it's not a, you know, it's not a, um, you know, in my channel, I say Hollywood sexual instead of a map associated thing. It's, yeah. you know, it's just a biology thing, right? So like there is epigenetic uh influences it's influence on your genes not also the base pairs but more like how they are expressed so single mothers their daughters have their first periods a year earlier than the average american woman that's what i'm saying well let's uh it's let's it's let's get back to this audio real quick mm. let's finish up what because i think she has something important to say oh, yes, about yes. matt from tinder as we get into oh, this. oh was, yeah. matt from tinder is the most important topic here let's go on <laughs> here we go let's go to buy to these guys and i just went back and sat in the booth with him and the, it was weird and it was hot and i was like i'm ready to go home and we had a quick walk home and that's when he started just giving me more commands on the way home and more commands, stand over there, take your shirt off, take your pants off. And I've never had 
sex in public at that point, let alone being naked in someone's apartment building. I was very hesitant and nervous, but I I couldn't stop myself from sure. listening to him and taking the clothes off. Right, right. And as someone who was not big into masturbating either, I, I was like, oh God, I don't even know if I can do this. She's telling me to come on command in public and someone could walk in on me at any time. And oh, I ended up coming so quickly. Yeah, such so a quickly. rush, yeah. Yeah, and he was filming it and he loved it. And it just opened up a whole new door for me. I bet. It was great. You and Jack kind of have gotten into some kinky antics, right? So yes. <laughs> this is kind of an extension of what we were just talking about is he had written a post about how he sent you off to meet guys that you meet off of Tinder mm-hmm. and you have sex with them and take pictures and then report back to him. And mm-hmm. with regards to like the Tinder post and you sleeping with other men because Jack asked you to, how did that come about? How did he approach that idea with you? Um, You know, we had a few conversations in the past about why can't I see other people? Well, you know, I really don't want to see other people. And I thought for a long time that maybe if I did, that I would somehow feel vindicated and feel like I'm in an open relationship and that all of the problems would go away, which is, of course, not true. And Jack was very nice in pointing that out. <laughs> but he he casually mentioned it a few times and said, you know, why don't why don't you just go on Tinder and start matching with people? So he tried to, he's, he's filling problems in their relationships yep. with some other dude's dick. This is most people in the lifestyle, though. I've told you this. Yeah. Most people who are in the swinger lifestyle are broken and damaged and their, their relationship is fucked up. Yeah. Well, shockingly, people who are in a healthy relationship tend to not think, oh, you know what? It'd be really great if someone else hollowed out these holes. Yep. <laughs> weird fucking. What a weird. I don't get it. I. Never, hold on. We're going to go back to this. And just have some casual conversations. He was like, don't mitigate any plans. Don't give out your number. Just do it and see how you feel. And I did. And then he would read them. And we'd take it a step farther. He's like, okay, find two guys and give them your number and, and just start chatting. And then, you know, he has the, the password to my phone. And he would go in and read the text message conversations. And I could see. You know he was commenting. He's yep, like, yep. By the way, show me your big penis. <laughs> Matt from Tinder, you know what was happening. This dude What's the size? Show me, send me a picture, please. Jack needs to just recognize that, like, that's that's what he wants to have sex with men. Yeah. Yeah, all like, of this is a gateway. It's it's fine. Just go be gay. Yeah, dude, like, don't when you, when don't drag cleanup, some woman through it. Well, well, dudes like this like being on cleanup duty. They're eating cream pies and stuff. <laughs> These are the kind of dudes that will... You know, walk around with knee pads so that at oh, any time no. they give a blow job <laughs> oh, and be like, I mean, I've never seen a problem that I couldn't suck. I mean, you know, fix. <laughs> no, and, no. Mm. Never seen no, a Drex, problem uh, too big for my mouth. Yes. Yeah, it's like, yeah. If this ain't out for the night, I ain't suck. I mean, seen it. And it's like, this is Jack, man. This dude is, a, this is a clown. Like, just, now, Drex, just um, honestly, just, just own it. Go be gay. No, no one say, cares. It's 2021. It's the best time to be gay. If ever. you just own it, if you just go like this, mm. yo, dude, I'm out of the closet. This is what it is. People go like this. Hey, that's cool. Whatever. Now, I, re- I remember reading Cultivating Erotic Energy from a Surprising Source back in October. And uh, part of it was, I remember the line. It was, now, Quote, you might accuse me of being gay, unquote. Jack Murphy was trying to convince his audience he was not homosexual. I don't think there is anything particularly wrong with being homosexual, mainly because, like, the less dudes going after Puniti, the more Puniti I have access to me. But isn't it kind of funny, the meme where it's like the dudes who want to prove to you they're not homosexual or actually homosexual we see jack murphy talk about how he's not homosexual and then two months later we see um him bouncing on uh phallic shaped objects it's a very very interesting how would you feel if your girlfriend asked to shove a dildo up your ass i mean i would tell her no um 
Yeah, I guess it? I would just tell. Oh, yes, I would. She said two no. dildos. <laughs> <laughs> I would say double no. I've never had a girlfriend ask me to do anything uh, anally related. In every story I've seen on Reddit, YouTube, whatever it is, is the dude convincing the girl to get into anal play, right? Because it's like um, being penetrated is a very uh, submissive feminine act. And females do, you know, girls in relationships with straight men typically aren't into, you know, penetrating their man. Now, if they're trans, bi, whatever it is, it might be different, but. I mean, I've never been in that kind of relationship. I have fucked lesbians before, but uh, no such thing. Yes, yeah, that's not that's not my experience. So I'm not saying this is the rule or the uh, the standard. I'm just saying from my personal experience, this this I never had that. Well, here let's uh let's wrap up the audio because um I've got a I've got a million super chats to read. You did have a lot, uh, sir. Yeah, go on, go on, go on. It's gonna take a bit, so here we go how turned on he was. I was going to say it was getting him worked up. Yeah. I mean, he would like read my text messages and like stroke his dick. Oh, yeah. Like, and, it, and then, yeah. And then it would like, you know, give us this charge and we'd fuck and then we'd talk about it and, and see how we... He would fuck, but he was picturing the guy dude, on Tinder. The no, dude's this, gay. This, He's this, just this, gay. This is gay, We man. solved the problem. Jack's just gay. It's fine. Jack, go be gay. It's, it's okay. No one no one cares anymore. I feel and it just kept turning both of us on. You know, I was turned on that he was so into it. Yeah. And I was turned on that I was doing something that made him so into it. Well, and the fact that maybe you're reluctant at first to do this, but like his arousal is so significant that, right. you know, yeah, that's that's very hot. <laughs> yeah. So. And, you know, for, for me, a lot of the, the fear and anticipation and the, the wanting to please him turns me on. And so I was like, are my conversations sexy enough? Am I doing a good job? And he was like, these are great. And so, you know, we were each getting our own charge out of it. Sure. So eventually he was like, okay, pick one. Matt from <laughs> Tinder, right? Matt from Tinder, he was the one. <laughs> Let's talk about Matt from Tinder. Okay, sure. so you went to meet him. Did you have dinner? Was it the first time? Was it sex? Like, how was it set up? So we, the three of us, all found ourselves on an afternoon off. And it was quite last minute. I, I said, he's available at four. Should I go? And he was like, yes, go. And so I just went to his house and he was like, just come over and let's have a couple drinks and see what we want to do. He's like, if you want to go out, we can go out. Let's just see what happens. And so I think most women know that if you're having drinks at someone's house on a first date, that you are most likely going to fuck. Right. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Let's, not, let's not pretend. Right. And you went there knowing that. So yes, yeah, yeah. I did. And, and that's just one he he wanted me to have yeah. time and flirt and he wanted me he wanted me to fuck him that day. Mm -hmm. And that was my goal. And I was super nervous, super weird. I bet but it was also really fun. Because you were thinking about Jack. I bet I bet it was super hard to convince this random guy on Tinder yep. to have sex with you. What the fuck guy is this fucking weird? This is beyond jacked. I can tell him later and it's yeah. so hard to convince men to have sex with the female. I mean, it's so hard. It's like monopoly. You got to try so hard. I going to have to make the move. Oh, I really don't want to make the move. Oh, but Jack's going to, I'm okay. What's well, let's see, you know, like this constant monologue in my head. Sure. Hot. Um, so was the sex, um, was the sex good? <laughs> No, the sex no was terrible. it was terrible. Except yeah. that you, you were thinking about Jack, so at least you were hot and wet. And exactly. Thank you. You're thinking about Jack, so the sex was still terrible. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh no! Oh no! And about how he was going to fuck you after, I'm sure. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you met up with Matt again one other time, correct? I love this story. So you have to I tell me this one again. Yeah, this is one. This is one of my favorite stories. We found ourselves with some time, and we're like, let's go out. We're you know in a popular neighborhood downtown. And we happened to find ourselves in Matt's neighborhood. And he was like, text Matt, see if he's home. Like, do you okay. think that was an accident or do you think he planned that? Jack planned that. <laughs> that you, you never know. In his you never know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You he's never gay. Know. I would not put it past him to have planned it. <laughs> and he happened to be home. And Jack said, we're going to go over there. I'm going to set the timer on your phone for 15 minutes. And you need to go in, get him off, and come out in 15 minutes. 
Well, Matt is a lucky guy. <laughs> right? And I, you know, all sorts of emotions, like, how is Matt going to feel? Oh, my God. So <laughs> Matt's going to feel an I ejaculation. Do do What's my punishment going to be? Matt's going to feel real good. 15 minutes. But I did it. Um, and I went in and I got out of there, I think, in 12 minutes. I was going to say, I bet you didn't even need 15 minutes. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this host? And oh, it, it was extra dirty because, you know, Jack walked me there and he just kind of like sat on a bench near across the street from the apartment and knew exactly. He where sat was. and yeah. waited for the dude to come and his girl. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Worse than I thought. Looking hot. Right. Well, that's why I argue. Go ahead. Go ahead. Finish. Oh, no. But I, I came out and he was there and he's like, did you do it? And I said, yes. And he was like, good girl. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's the best. It is. The best. <laughs> it is. It is. Yeah. And that, I was gonna say just briefly too that that was. Yeah, that's the best. Yeah. Right there. Yeah, like not actually being intimate with the person you're into, but going and having terrible seconds from Matt after the first course was bad. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like going to a fucking Denny's and being like, "Yeah, I threw up a whole bunch afterwards," and then you're like, "You're out with your boyfriend or whatever." He's like, "You know what?" We're in the neighborhood of that Denny's he went to. It's like yep. I threw up afterwards. Like I want you to go in there and pound that fucking grand slam down in fifteen oh. minutes. Get, get out, fifteen minutes or less. <laughs> oh. Come out and just vomit good, up my good face, girl. You dirty bitch. Oh. Good girl. Oh. <laughs> I am so disgusted. That's so gross. <laughs> Holy oh god, the, the, this is nasty. Hold on, let me see if there's any more of this weird shit. It's one of the reasons I argued with people initially when I discovered Jack's blog, it was through this post that he wrote and people were attacking him. You know, you're a cuck and this and that. Right. And like, they just don't understand. No, he's literally a cuck. They did understand. The fact that like every single action you're taking is focused on Jack, not the other everything. person. Everything. Yeah. That's what makes it hot. I mean, you would never have done that for any other reason than to police. No, see, she's got the wrong perspective. Mm -hmm. For some women, cuckolding a guy is hot because Jax thinks he's in power here. Yeah, he's not. And it's it's like, no, nope, she's the one going in. She's the one jerking off this dude or whatever she does to get him off. She's the one doing this. And and Jack is smitten with Matt, not mm -hmm. her. But she's like, oh, he's so into me. But I, if she, what if she says no? Mm -hmm. She knows if she doesn't go in there, then Jack's entire day is ruined. Yep. So she's like, oh, no, he's not a cuck. He's not a cuck because because I'm focused on him. It's like mm -hmm. that. Yes, that's what a cuck is. The woman is focused on humiliating the cuck. She's yep. focused on having sex with someone else while the cuck watches or knows about it. That's the whole fetish. That's the whole kink that makes him more of a cuck. Oh, my God. He's him. Right. So, I had yeah. I had very little attraction to Matt. I had no desire to fuck him. I had no desire to fuck anyone else except for Jack. And you know, Jack's the type of guy where he's he knows that my love and my service and my submission is so complete that he has complete power and control over my actions and and that is the trust that he has. And so Matt from Tinder is no threat. Right. He's Absolutely. like this, he's Absolutely. this toy basically yeah. for us. And um, he knew that. I mean, yeah. just so we're clear, Matt, Matt was fully aware of the situation. So. Completely aware. Yeah. Was he? Like, Again, lucky, lucky guy. guy. Oh yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> Jack is outside, right? But I mean, she never indicated that they told Matt. Well, hold on. Remember the text messages. Mm. Yeah, but I mean, it was on her phone. Yeah. I mean, look. I would rather believe that Jack was fully aware of the cucking than he than that he was being cheated on. Right. Well, Jack, said, Jack's aware. Jack's aware of the cucking. The the question yeah, is, yeah, does yeah. Matt? Does Matt know that like Jack is? I don't, well, and more, I mean, Matt doesn't care, right? I mean, they they know. wouldn't tell him. Like, this is like, I, I mean, I've smashed tons of bitches. Maybe half of them had boyfriends. They wouldn't tell me. They wouldn't. Yeah, you don't they know. Just, like, they just want that good dick. That's all they want. Same, it's the same oh, as the Christy Mack situation. Wait, there's a guy. Uh -oh. There's a guy in the chat. Matthew Phoenix says she never told me. Oh, <laughs> that can't possibly be you, Matt. I, 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 I refuse to believe that the world is this funny, but I really hope it is. Can you uh, imagine being Matt from Tinder, and then you like open YouTube one day, and you're just like. 
why is everybody talking about me? Why? Oh my goodness. I just smashed this one like 5 out of 10 redhead. Why? Yeah, it's uh uh okay. Here we go. Let's 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 wrap up. <laughs> yeah. Good. So one of the posts that, you know, I read an excerpt from it of Jack's post was called Our Therapy. Uh-huh. And in it, he's very ex- explicit. And he talks about some of the things that you guys, guys get up to. And, and one thing I was really interested in is the hooks. Uh-huh. I just, I, I, I'm going to try this soon because <laughs> I've always been kind of scared of them. Um, they're I've never scary. done it. Yeah, yeah right? they're scary. Right? And they look really intimidating. And I don't know, it just looks weird like kind of like fisting you know or something it's, where you're like no no but it's very ahead. like industrial medical almost like it it doesn't look like a sex toy and so it's you know cold hard metal and i think just the look of it is is so unsexy that it causes so much it causes so much fear and anxiety and anticipation which is you know one of jack's favorite things of course mm-hmm. um and he told me about this and fantasy. Yours. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. He told me about this fantasy where I was just his piece of meat and I was hanging there like a piece of meat in a butcher shop. And he was just going to use me and abuse me any way he wanted because I would be completely helpless. That's pretty much m- the root of all my fantasies right there. Yep. <laughs> so, yeah. so, you know, I was, I was definitely curious. I was definitely up for the adventure. You know, my biggest fear is I definitely thought the hook was going in my ass that night, right. the very first night. Yeah. And <laughs> I didn't even think of that. Oh, it it didn't. And I was, yeah. I was very happy about that because I was terrified. Um, the hooks, the hooks are specifically made for this activity though, right? Yes. You they know, are. they look okay. So Absolutely. this is a tested thing. People have used them. I mean, I've seen it in BDSM clubs and stuff, but this isn't actually dangerous if it's, if, if somebody knows what they're doing, correct? Correct. Okay. Yep. It's okay. you, you buy it on a, on a BDSM sex toy website. It's completely, you know, hygienic and made for right. this activity right. specifically. Right. Yeah. Okay. Are you hanging upside down? No. Okay. So the hook goes inside your pussy and mm-hmm. does that, so the, does the ball hit your G spot? I wonder, because it, it seems like it, it, it depends, but it could. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then, so you insert it and you're what, are you flat like on your back or like how, what, so how do you me, get into it? He had me standing on a chair. Makes sense. Okay. Yep. And then he had me insert it myself. That's he hard. likes to, he likes to have me, you know, Fuck yourself on his cock. Yep, cause, <laughs> yeah, cause the cause the pain. Do his bidding for him, basically. <laughs> he likes to watch sure. me squirm. <laughs> and then mm. that night, I was I was not suspended. I was not hanging, but he had the rope above me, basically controlling so, it. Right, so he could kind of pull you half up. For mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yep, awesome. Did you like it right away? Was it like you said? I, I was love... terrified of it. Yeah, I bet. I bet. It was absolutely terrifying. He says that in the post too. She's gonna hate it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yep, I was dreading it. I, I was, like I said, I thought it was going in my ass. It, it's not the same shape as a butt plug, and it's pretty big, and being pulled on, and I was just, whew, I was tense. Sure. Like I said, I, I've never done the hook, and I guess in my mind, I had this idea of, like, it being inserted in the pussy and then having you, like, almost hang upside down, and I'm wondering, like, what supports you? Have you have you been suspended from it since? No. Okay, okay. No, um... He's like put it in my pussy and then tied it around my neck, uh-huh. or tied it up and around my neck and then to my hands. <laughs> <laughs> this broad. Um, he's very skilled with the ropes. Yeah. Um, very so skilled. that way, if I move, like if I like you within the arms, navy, the hook goes deeper inside me. Mm-hmm. I want to try it. Cool. Yeah, it's cool. great, and he makes it you know so that if if I'm all right, this is just getting fucking that, that generous host? now. That host, man. They're like, you know what though? She's the real problem because there are women out no, there. No, I mean, I think Jack sending his girlfriend to Matt is the real no, no, problem. No, no, no. But... It's it's what the host represents. I mean, she's yeah, yeah, somewhere, yeah, somewhere out there. There's a woman. Yeah, what Drex is saying is what it represents in the larger scheme, like yeah, 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 cultural yeah, yeah. forces, right? Yeah, yeah. The older woman is supposed to be telling the young girls, "This is what you're supposed to do to be wifey material," right? And now older women are competing against their daughters on TikTok. They're doing who who wore it best challenge, all that you know, all these challenges. And it's like they aren't telling these young girls, these young women, the right things, Nick. That's why the guys are looking around, going, "Where's all the women?" Uh, it, it's broads like this, like, "Oh god, yeah." And then what? Like they want to they want to relive their old thought past. 
Okay, well, that's that's degenerate as shit. There's actually a lot more to this story. Dude, fuck this dude. No, that, uh, <laughs> but but it's fucking late. So, dude, I mean, we can get to these super. Chat. This dude is terrible. This guy is literally like, because I've it, got. Oh God! Wait, are those it, balls hanging from his face? No, that was something else. Oh, uh, let's see. Aww. We've got. Uh, oh, I've I've got a whole bunch of fucking memes. Oh, your Discord. Yeah, I I think they sent me a bunch of memes earlier. I got to go back to them. But uh, I've got a bunch of memes. I've got a bunch of super chats. I mean, all this all this fucking chatterbait stuff is is gro- Like, there's <laughs> there's a bunch. I don't even know if you oh, can show me that. I I don't think I can, but I can play the audio from one of oh, them. Oh Jesus! Just give go. me a second here. Oh God! Uh, where the fuck am I? What haven't they done? Who the Jack and and his yeah whatever. like what haven't they done at this point? I don't know. So uh, I I I have so many pictures of this guy getting his fucking anus reamed out by a giant dildo. Uh, <laughs> hold on, I don't want any of those things in my life. Um, here we go. We, we're, we're, I'm going to play the audio from this one. Oh, yes. Oh. 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 Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Whoops, I clicked on the wrong spot. I just want to point. Dude. Can I show this? I don't know if I can show this. There's too much ass crack in it. <laughs> uh, can you show it? I don't... No, I can't. I can't. Oh, uh... Her face is buried in yeah, this, the this, is, this is a burial. This is a burial right here. <laughs> buried in the cheeks. <laughs> Look, Johnny D, we good, Nick. Look, man, don't don't do it. Honestly, what cool. makes it worse is the fact that his ass has, is hairy. Like, so it's gonna catch a lot of like lint and yeah, other she's, things. She's oh, Russian, man, you, you, right? You, you, you gonna produce this pornographic film when you're not gonna take the chance to, to get the Manscape 101 lawn tripper on your booty hole? She, Come on, she's man. gonna back Come up. On. She's going to back up and go like this, like, ah, ah, and, and be pulling yeah, like, the small uh, hairs out from between the teeth. It's oh, so gross. Now, Verkita, you were, um, you were scarred by the numerous images of Jack Murphy going into your uh, DMs. I have a man, 1.5 subs. He's, like, using YouTube as a hobby. He had thousands of hours of jack murphy porn sent to his dms manic the manic mechanic he's blind now man i gotta i have to um raise funds for his surgery for his eye transplants because the hairy booty hole that jack murphy provided has ruined his life yeah oh it's 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 disgusting uh Oh my gosh. Shout out to Anna Star Wars girl in chat. I see you. Oh Jesus. Hey, there's What's our up? girl Anna. What's up, Anna? I see you. Uh, I see you too. I see you. Hold on. Let me see about this one. The fact that she has to listen to this. I, I can't I can't oh, show no. this one because it's it's oh, completely no. uncensored and my life is horrible. <laughs> please don't please don't <laughs> show it. Please for I, your I, audience. Please for your audience. This is for the audio. This is for the audio. Here we go. Oh, okay, okay. We've had other guys join us. We've had other girls, other guys. Three and four girls. Oh, thanks, Stefan. You guys are the best. Harley, but you can suck spare for him. <laughs> oh, I want such this cut too. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. Yeah, we love other couples. Couples are fun too. Yep. Oh. 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 
Hold on. It's coming. Oh, this is so gross. Rakita, please Hold make up. it stop. Please make it stop, man. Please. Thank you guys for everything. 25 tokens for a request. 69 for 69, guys. 69 for 69. Yes, I have definitely fucked guys before. Oh. I'm a hetero flexible. I should put that in the bio. You should, yeah. Everyone asks. Everyone asks. Yeah. All the guys want to know. We love our guy fans. Uh, I especially love daddy's fans. 69 for 69, guys. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> I'm a total top, James. He's a total top. He's a total top. Total t dude. I, I have so much regret right now. <laughs> I, I can't keep showing this shit. Or can't keep playing this shit. <laughs> it's got to end. It's got to end. It's too late, Ricada. You've been exposed to Jack uh, Murphy's top uh, preferences. You will now forever have Jack Murphy jumping on a silicone dildo ingrained into your mind. That same with you, Ricada. Forever. 20 years from now, you will fall asleep and just randomly be like, Jack Murphy on a dildo. Ah! So a, a guy sent me a DM. He, he sent me all the links. And it says... Here you can find seven to ten hours, yes, hours of his sex streams live available to no, anyone no. that he used to have on Chatterbait. No, please, no, please, no. Oh, it's over, hetero flexa bros. Dude, that look, I'm tired of all these new terms. Nick, the first time I heard that term was maybe like 20, like maybe. 14 maybe something like that the first time i heard that term was yesterday dude I, I was like what the hell is uh, you know when you hear something that anything that like, like that's why the uh the thing what is it super straight came right like i'm not straight bro i'm super straight people are like why the hell people say that i was warning you about these dudes out here on the down low i am super straight i am straight as shit Man. i'm the straightest motherfucker on this planet get me off of it immediately because this is too much this is so fucking uh, bad Speaking of that, I need to read a billion super chats. All right, yeah, let's get to the super chats. So to, uh, yeah, yeah, to go on, Chronic... Go on to super chats, man. Go on to super chats. Well, I, I was going to actually have y'all probably peace out while we oh, just yeah. burn well, shill, They can shill their stuff before they leave. Yes, that's yeah. what I was going to say. Yeah. You, you guys aren't even letting me fit. I'm cooking you. But tell people where they can find each of you, and uh, and then we will uh, we will go through. <laughs> we'll do some bearded super chats. Yeah, you, you go first, Fenty. You go first. Oh, why is that? Why do ladies I have to first. go first? La ladies first, I guess. Okay. I don't know. Oh, wow. Thank you. How chivalrous. Sure. Um, we're, we're, we're trad alpha turbos here. Okay. Well, firstly, I'd like to give a big shout out to Mr. Dick and Bowles for allowing all of this to happen. And for me, getting to interview him today. I did it on my stream. You guys can check it out if you want. Um, my YouTube is Brittany Venti. I do live streams. Um, and uh, you can also find my Kevin Samuels video there, which I reference. And um, thank you so much for having me on, Riketa and Drex. I really appreciate thank it. You. It's been absolutely a pleasure. And I wouldn't have asked to spend my New Year's Eve any other way than with the um, <laughs> heteroflexa bros. But before I, but before I um, peace out, I wanted to ask, uh, does the, uh, the Seminole accept Silicone Sisters? Well, I mean, for a hundred dollars, we'll accept damn near we'll, we'll anybody. Accept anything. Accept, <laughs> we, we accept anything, Brittany, dudes, chicks, trannies, animal, animals, maybe. If an animal donates a hundred, we accept everything, man. Lots of trannies. We accept trannies all day. <laughs> we'll take anybody, dude. Anybody. I feel so much manlier with this beard on. At the end of the day, this is a full-on fucking grift. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> so. So yes, all all of our silicone sisters are welcome. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, we're hetero flexible in our super chats, man. <laughs> thank you, my hetero flexa bros. <laughs> thanks Pull so out. Much. Thanks so much for coming on. Thanks Brittany. so much, and uh, BV. it's always a pleasure chatting. Thank you. Chronic, yeah, go ahead and show yourself. I mean, here's the shill. If you guys want to support 
the man, the war band who initiated the raid on the Cuck Murphy You Are Here podcast. If you want to support the decimation of simps, all you need to do is go to locals at HTTPS locals, Mercada law locals.com or go to the merchandise teespring.com slash store slash Mercada dash law to support undead chronic. Or maybe you can go to mines at www.minds.com slash Mercada law. This is how you could support the undead chronic show, the UCW show Mercada. Thank you for having me on and thank you for exposing the cucks. Thank you. All of you guys. Thank you. Thanks. Right. Have My a good pleasure, night, man. both of y'all. My pleasure, man. You guys have a uh, wonderful new year. We're gonna Thank you. we're gonna wrap up the show with some beards. Thank Dude, you. we don't why are Thank we wrapping you. up the show? Thank we you. go unwrapped. This is gonna be an unwrapped finale. <laughs> this is unwrapped. Going this is a in. bareback finale. Uh full, right. have a good night. Guys. Yeah, good night. <laughs> I love Britney's tatas. Bye. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank Get you. Out. Bye. 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 Get out of here. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. Uh okay. Well, yeah, this is the unwrap. This is the full protein injection. That's right. <laughs>